Hello welcome to pause channel our video today is about a German Shepherd protecting its friend from a coyote. Before we go any further we want to let you know that we'll keep on uploading the remaining parts of our series band dog breeds in future alongside the random videos that we upload. In Europe during the 1850s, attempts were being made to standardize breeds. The dogs were bred to preserve traits that assisted in their job of herding sheep and protecting flocks from predators. In Germany this was practiced within local communities, where shepherds selected and bred dogs that they believed had the skills necessary for herding sheep, such as intelligence, speed, strength, and keen senses of smell. The results were dogs that were able to do such things, but that differed significantly, both in appearance and ability, from one locality to another. To combat these differences, the Phylax Society was formed in 1891 with the intention of creating standardized dog breeds in Germany. In 1899, Von Stefanitz was attending a dog show when he was shown a dog named Hector Linkserheim. Hector was the product of few generations of selective breeding and completely fulfilled what Von Stefanitz believed a working dog should be. He was pleased with the strength of the dog and was so taken by the animal's intelligence, loyalty, and beauty, that he purchased him immediately. After purchasing the dog he changed his name to Horn von Grafrath and von Stefanitz founded the Verein für Deutsche Schafferhunde, Society for the German Shepherd Dog. Horn was declared to be the first German Shepherd Dog and was the first dog added to the society's breed register. The modern German Shepherd Dog is criticized for straying away from von Stefanitz's original ideology for the breed, that German Shepherds should be bred primarily as working dogs, and that breeding should be strictly controlled to eliminate defects quickly. Critics believe that careless breeding has promoted disease and other defects, such as color paling, hip dysplasia, monorchidism, weakness of temperament, and missing teeth are common, as well as bent or folded ears which never fully turn up when reaching adulthood. So in other words German Shepherd were bred to fend off the wild predators. Not all German Shepherd are close to being equal. Some German Shepherds are trained and bred for very specific purposes and are superior to other German Shepherds for those purposes. Most German Shepherds that are raised by urban city dwellers are not dogs with a lot of grit or fight in them. They are a product of their environment and are family dogs with little or no motivation to fight. While in areas where dogs and wild animals share their territory, those dogs are much different. Now coming back to our clip, a hungry coyote jumped into the backyard of the house and tried to catch an Indian Spitz. That was Spitz's lucky day as its friend German Shepherd heard its screams when coyote got hold of it and came to its rescue. The coyote was totally unaware of the presence of German Shepherd and it was totally surprised by the sudden attack from behind. Coyotes often attack pet dogs usually that is smaller in size if they are hunting alone. The size of the pet does not really matter when a pack of them gang up and attack, then they can even kill the dogs that are larger in size. Sometimes alerts are placed in media when the frequency of these attacks increases. At times, when they are considered enough of a nuisance, bounties are placed on coyotes. Some ranchers will kill any coyote they see, bounty or not. Coyotes can be devastating to herds of cattle and sheep. People with outdoor pets should be careful and keep a watchful eye out for these predators and kept their pets indoors at night when attacks are most likely to happen. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Pause Channel.